joining us tonight at 11. I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Jamie Costello. Tonight, friends and family gathered to attend a vigil dedicated to 15 year old Nakayla Strauder. She was shot and killed Saturday night by accused by a nine year old. WMAR 2 News Nordea Lewis went to Southwest Baltimore to attend that event tonight. Quite a gathering and a turnout, Nordea. Well, many people showed up to pay their respects and her family made it a point to light candles because they say Nakayla was the light in their life. I miss my daughter. Words can't describe how I feel at this moment. Justice for Kayla. Justice for Kayla. People traveled near and far to attend a vigil to honor the life of Nikayla Strauder. The 15-year-old had big dreams, but her life was cut short when a 9-year-old killed her Saturday night. Her family believes it wasn't an accident. He intentionally came to kill my son, and when my son wouldn't come outside, he murdered my daughter in cold blood. The 9-year-old's family hasn't released a public statement, but the 15-year-old's family says what hurts the most is that they knew the young boy. But they're not letting anger get the best of them. Nikayla's family says this vigil is to not only honor her life, it's also to get the community to realize it's going to take a village to put the next generation on the right path. My whole thing is it starts at home. Like, check your kids. See what they doing. When they leaving out that house, see what they see what they doing. Where they going at. I don't want this to happen to someone else, but I'm, as hard as I am, I'm going to fight. Like the shirt say, once this over, the, the fight is just going to begin, and I'm not going to stop until I get justice for Kayla because she didn't deserve it. Something has to change in the city of Baltimore. There's too much violence. We need peace. We need unity. And Nikayla's family says this is just one of many things they'll do to keep her legacy alive. Jamie. All right, Nordea, two more teenagers have been shot here in Baltimore. A 17-year-old and a 14-year-old walked into a hospital in southwest Baltimore yesterday. Gunshot wounds to both. At this point, police don't know where the shootings even happened or who, of course, the shooter was. And when we take a look in focus, we are digging into the data. More than 12% of our murder victims this year have been teenagers. And breaking these 24 victims down by age, the youngest we've seen in this range so far this year is 15 years old. Though we have seen children younger than 12 murdered in the city this year, they are more than data, though. The name of every teenager victim, just take a look on your screen. Elijah Hill and every Henrique, and the youngest, of course, we just reported on, Nikayla Strauder, was killed this past weekend when a nine-year-old allegedly shot her. Police believe that shooting was accidental, though still considered a homicide.